Thank you, thank you, Gwen, and good morning, everyone. Um, following Gwen's macro overview, I'm really going to take you down to a micro level for our little company, Compass Gold, um, an exploration company, and actually going to take you from British Columbia, across Canada, across the ocean to West Africa, uh, the country of Mali, the third largest gold producing country in all of Africa, and that's where Compass Gold is focusing its activity. There are probably four things in this very brief presentation that I'd want to make sure people understand about our company. Uh, we think it's a real strength that we have a proven ex uh, exploration management team. We go back 30 years, not just in the industry, but in Mali, working. Uh, some of us have worked together from our early days in Iron Gold, and uh, uh, we believe this is an essential strength for doing business and doing exploration in, in Africa, and West Africa, Mali in particular. Second thing is the size of our properties. We have over 850 square kilometers of permits, and what you're going to hear about today is just one very small part, basically the very first place that we started drilling. None of these uh, permits had any drilling of any kind ever. So this is still early days, but we do have some very exciting results in our first drill uh, zone or drill target zone. And that drilling you'll hear about in a little more detail, but we've produced some very important, interesting intercepts, both width, so 60 meters at 1.4 grams per ton. Just to put that into context, most of the open pit mining in Mali, the great mines are operating at less than uh, one and a half grams per ton. So open pitable, near surface, uh, economic parameters are very strong or uh, very favorable for this kind of exploration. We also have some very high grade intercepts in this same zone and that leads us to believe that there are multiple events uh, geological events that uh, are taking place and causing the gold and the system to appear. Uh, in that 18 meters at 20 uh, grams per ton, there was actually a very rich zone of uh, almost 10 ounces per ton. So that got a lot of attention, uh, but again, it's early days. We're putting it into the context of building uh, out a, a, a mineable resource, an economic resource, so it's encouraging. Um, but it's in the context of the other results that we're getting, which we'll talk about. And uh, lastly, within this large permit area, there are well over 40 distinct targets that have been identified. With the funds available, we can only start uh, in one area. We're basically going to be doing a three-pronged uh, exploration program from now to the end of the year. Uh, but there is a lot here to uh, sink our teeth into uh, over time. Location-wise, uh, this map just shows you that we have uh, these permit areas that are spread over three distinct greenstone belts. And when we say we're in a prolific region, this southern part of Mali, over the last five to ten years, has attracted some of the uh, largest capital investments in terms of new mines and development. It's produced some of the best results in, as far as new deposits. Uh, we're in the vicinity of large operating mines. Uh, the likes of uh, 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 Rangold, I guess now Barrick at uh, Marilla, uh, Siama, Resolute, uh, the uh, Hummingbird Mine. So we're right in a district not only that has producing mines, but it affords us the infrastructure. So water, roads, communications, power. Uh, it's an ideal place to be finding ounces of gold and bringing them to uh, production. Honing in on this one Farabakura drilling target, this is, was originally a zone almost 16 kilometers long uh, that was identified through surface sampling and auger drilling. We would do quick auger drilling down to the water table about uh, 25 to th uh, 40 feet, and those results helped us hone in on targets for deeper drilling. And the very first couple of programs of deep drilling, these are uh, holes that go down about 100 meters about 2,000 meters at a time. That's, pardon me, that's, that's kind of the tranche of work that our team would do, get the results and understand where to go next. And on this map, you'll see the diamond drill in red, the diamond drill hole, which is the only one that we use, the rest are reverse circulation. 
produce those very high grades in what is uh, outlined as artisanal working. So the ar artisanal mining would go down in open pits to the water table and then would leave and go elsewhere. So these are large workings. We found high grade in the middle of the pit and then at the southern part you also see in red the, the intercept that was 60 meters at 1.4 grams. Excellent width, obviously significant gold, and these are within 100 meters of surface. So again, open pitable. We followed up this program of drilling, which uh, we completed in February, with another uh, program trying to step out from some of these results. Initially, we looked at uh, an interpretation of the structure going northwest, and so we added drill holes, uh, reverse circulation drill holes. Uh, as it turns out, the best results that came from that next uh, 1,900 meters of drilling showed to the south. So you look at the intercepts going south at 32 meters at 3 grams per ton, um, uh, 3 meters at 6.2 grams per ton. What we effectively did was identify an extension of this um, mineralized zone to the south. And the question now is how far south does it go and do those widths and grades uh, continue? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So following up on this program, we have about six weeks left until the rainy season. In Mali, uh, summer is not our drilling season because the rains make it difficult to move heavy equipment around from about the end of June till probably beginning of October. So in the next six weeks, we'll do another 3,000 meters of drilling, and we're going to try and do two things. Take this four kilometer zone where we have solid drill results and start identifying both northern extensions and extensions to the south. Bear in mind, when we talk about four kilometers in length and perhaps a width of one or two kilometers, an open pit mine housing millions and millions of ounces is uh, generally less than a kilometer long kilometer and a half long. So this is a very big footprint we're still looking to, to hone in on. To the south, we'll be looking at large, wide, disseminated grades, uh, zones. And to the north, we're going to be exploring the potential for east-west structures. So there's a slightly different interpretation up there. But as we said, we believe there's multiple events occurring here that's bringing this gold system into this first area. So it's an exciting time. We should know a lot more by the end of June, and we're funded um, for exploration actually right through till January, February of next year. Uh, just touching on that a little bit, uh, we're a small company, uh, 38 million shares outstanding. About 75% of those shares are held by combination of management and board and probably 30, 40 industry associates uh, that would be known to us over the last 25, 30 years. So it's a fairly tightly held company. There's not a big float that actually trades. Uh, we were successful in refinancing or funding in uh, the end of April. As a, as a management team and a board, we looked at, all right, let's get enough money to see us through to the end of the year. We're not going to raise more than we need. We originally were targeting about $2 million. And uh, we had a lot of demand from some uh, new shareholders, not just uh, our existing shareholders. We ended up increasing to 2.7. So we have about $3 million right now, which is more than enough to carry out exploration through to the uh, beginning of the rainy season and then follow up with fresh drilling uh, in the fall. So uh, we're funded. Um, uh, on this chart, the only other thing I would mention is uh, uh, options, or, or pardon me, warrants. 13 million warrants are 75 cents. That was part of our original private placement in December of, of uh, 2017. So next steps, 3,000 meters of drilling, RC drilling. We could add some diamond drilling in there if appropriate. That will happen in the next six weeks. We'll test for the potential to the south of the Farabakura pit and the artisanal workings at Kabangui. And we'll also follow up with uh, the high-grade intercepts to the north, looking at east-west trend, uh, trending structures. And then two other distinct targets uh, at Sankarani, the Sodala Prospect and the Anfalilla South, where we have another nine artisanal pits 
that need to be identified for drill targets. So those are the second and third prongs that we'll get to uh, before the end of this year. And with that, my time is up, and we'll follow up with questions uh, afterwards if people have any interest. Thank you. Thank you.